and we're back to exploring Pika Labs. Let us talk about aspect ratio. You can use minus AR. In this case, I even used minus minus AR and it worked. But minus AR minus and then the parameter abbreviation is usually the way to write it in Pika Labs. We make it robot AR69 and afterwards I use the same prompt and I make it robot AR9 by 16. And that's the way you can adjust it. You can also use images. Let me use create. I click on plus one more image and then I pick this one. By default, Pika Labs, the bot uses the size of the image to generate the video if you don't add an aspect ratio by hand manually. Let me change this to 9 by 16. Here's our first robot, 16 by 9. Everything looks like it should be where it is. Here's 9 by 16. So when you do it like this, you get a video that fits your aspect ratio that you've chosen. While it works on our images, let me go to the FAQ here. And here it says, so the fault is 1024 times 576. And it's also mentioned that it takes the aspect ratio from the attached image to generate the video. And we have that now here in our example. The image was 16 by 9, so the video looks fine with it. But for 9 by 16, it has compressed it. So this is what happens. It stretches the image or it squishes it together. Here I've used an example with a robot and you can also see that I've played around with different values because I wanted to find the limits of it. For example, here is 8 by 1 and it looks almost the same as 3 by 1. So there is an upper limit. I haven't yet found an official value given by Pika Labs, but if I use my experimentation, let me for example recycle 1 by 4 and I remix it with 1 by 3. And then I download it and I show you the size of it. You can see that we have 512 times 1280 and in the other direction 1280 times 512. So this seems to be the limit in both directions. And if you calculate that, if you break that down, it's 5 by 2 or 2 by 5. So every time you expand the aspect ratio, let's say to 6 by 2, which would be 3 by 1, it gives you 5 by 2 anyway. And if you want to stretch it to 2 times 6, which would be 1 by 3, you'll get 2 times 5 anyway. As I've said, this is just my experimentation and these are just the current values. If I actually find official numbers, I'll make an update. But this is currently the limit. Keep that in mind when you try to generate your videos using Pika Labs. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.